Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel after the Christmas break. I've just taken the first couple of weeks of the year to adjust to life. Um, Kieran is now working away during the week, so the kids and I have had to come up with like a new routine that we're doing together and just getting used to that. I also, as you know, suffer with fibromyalgia and I did have a bit of a flare up at the beginning of the year. So I've been trying to really focus on my health, my eating, my exercising and pacing and just make sure I'm looking after myself. So you'll have to excuse my appearance today. I'm having a no makeup day because I'm actually doing a bit of DIY. Now I have wanted to, for ages, transform this wall this big white wall in my dining room into a panelled wall. Now I know that panelling has probably been like really overdone. I've been wanting to do it for about two years and I've just been umming and ahhing and thinking about it and I've been asking Kieran to do it for me and he's like, yeah, 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 I'll get round to it, but he's not got round to it. So today I thought, do you know what? He's gone back to work this morning and he's gonna be away all week and I thought, I'm off today. I'm gonna give it a start see how we get on and then if he needs to finish it off or whatever at the weekend he can do but I really want to do it myself I want to be like I did that you know I did that myself um because before I had injuries and stuff I used to do a lot of DIY in the house and I enjoy it like I used to do it with my mum growing up it was just me and my mum and we used to do it all together put floors in wallpaper build things so I really want to give it a good go so um I just thought I would share with you what I'm doing as I'm not like a expert DIYer. I've seen it being done, I've picked things up, but I'm not an expert. So I've been watching some videos and stuff like that. So I thought I would bring you along the journey of a novice doing this in case you're a novice and you want to do it and you think, do you know what, she did it, I'm going to give it a go. So what I did was, <laughs> I went to B&Q. Well, I measured up first. So let's just start from the scratch. We measured up first. So I measured, let me show you my floor. Ignore my uh, plug because we swapped plugs last night and the plug before it was bigger and now there's a big hole. So I've got some filler. So I worked out how many panels I wanted going up first. So I wanted five panels and I wanted them 10 centimetres each. So I measured the whole width of the wall, which was 301 centimetres. And then I minused 50 centimetres off for the five panels that were going to go up. And then that left me with the gaps in between. So what I did was I took 50 off 301 and then divided that by four, which would be the four blocks that I would have. And that gave me the gap in between. And then what I did was I measured it. So I've got 10 centimeters, focus, 10 centimeters there. And I think it was like 64 centimeters to here, 10 centimeters and uh, so on and so forth. And it, fits bob on and then I measured from the bottom to the top which you can see I've got a panel here and it fits absolutely perfectly um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to no more nails this on and then I'm going to go along each panel I think um, with the smaller ones now I am no expert chopper I do have Kieran's saw here which I was going to give a good go I know how to use it I helped with some flooring with him. But in B&Q, you can get it cut there. So your first five cuts are free and then everything else is 50p each. So it cost me eight pounds to get it cut. So I thought, do you know what? For the hassle of me doing it and probably messing it up and maybe needing more wood or whatever, I decided to just let them in B&Q cut it up. And he was great. So he did all the cutting and it should easily all just go on now i should be able to bish bash bosh that up and i got the mdf that i got it was an mdf and it was nine millimeters um thick which was what google said was the best thickness it says six millimeters too small and 12 meters too thick 12 millimeters too thick i was going to go with the 12 millimeter because it did look a nicer thickness level but i'm glad i went with the nine millimeters now that i've got it ho home and as you can see this is a big 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 white wall so it's just going to add so much character once this is done i need to paint my ceiling i think i'm gonna have to get kieran to do that though because i've got torn cartilage in my right arm and I've got bursitis in my left shoulder so I can't really lift my arms up and paint um, up there so I may have to get Kieran to do that 
But yes, I'm going to give it a good go today. We're going to hopefully get all the panelling on. Um, other things that I have bought, other than the filler for that, which I'm going to give a try. I've seen Kim do it so many times. He's a qualified plasterer. I've seen him doing all that sort of stuff loads of times, so I'm sure I can do that fine. Um, other bits I got... No more nails for sticking the board on. I also got some panelling pins, which are just like small nails, uh, just in case any of it is too heavy to stick up or there's any kind of like gaps in the wall because some walls are not always straight and I have a feeling that this will be the case here. And then I also got some uh, builder's cork for going around the edges and then also some wood filler in case there are any tiny gaps or anything like that that needs to fill in so it all looks as one so let's go so as you can see i was really struggling with this no more nails gun i was trying the other gun it was not coming out i was getting so frustrated it took me about 20 minutes 25 minutes just to glue this one piece of wood and it was really hurting my arm as you can see it was really hurting my hands i cut my hands on it and I couldn't grip the gun properly because of my wrist injuries. But I have since learned that I should have cut the nozzle a little bit better. And I have been given loads of tips on like putting the glue on the radiator to help it loosen up and what have you. But, you know, obviously I went into this trying to do it all myself and I didn't know. And in the end, I just took the nozzle off and it came out so much quicker. I have been given a lot of flack on TikTok for some of the stuff that I did. And do you know what? I'm a beginner. I'm not a pro. I'm here to tell you I am not a pro. I'm here to show you that you don't have to be a pro to get this done. And although this was really frustrating and really tedious, it took me ages to glue this one piece of wood. I didn't give up. And about this point, I was about ready to cry. But once I took the nozzle off and I think Buddy could tell I was getting frustrated. I was like going, ah, and all sorts at this point. But I got it up, took the nozzle off, and everything else was like a minute to glue it, less than a minute. So, you know, just be persistent. You'll find things that work better for you, and you will learn, live and learn. So once I eventually glued it, it was like the biggest relief of my life. I then was going to put it up on the wall. Now, although I had measured out to make sure that these all fit in correctly, I wanted to make sure I was being so precise because I knew that the measurements were the most crucial part of this whole process. I needed to make sure that this first length was completely straight. So I used this really large spirit level. I do have a smaller one, but this large one was really good to make sure it was all pushed up nice and neat towards the wall and it was starting to slip a little bit on the wall because you know I was going to stand there for ages till the no more nails set a little bit and this was a bit of a heavier piece so I pinned in with some of those tacks at the bottom in the middle and at the top just to hold it and I'm crap at hammering I'm not even going to lie to you all like these nails were bending every which way I had to keep taking them out and starting again but this is where I'm so proud that I gave it a go because normally I would give up at this point and be like, ah, I'm not doing it. But I was persistent and you can see how much I'm struggling with this hammer. Don't ask me why I'm so rubbish. I just am. But I finished it and it looks great where they're all nailed in. You cannot see them at all. And when they're painted over, they're just covered completely. So that all went in absolutely fine. I am making sure that all the measurements um, are right by going along this way and then I'm going to do the other side next and then sort of meet in the middle but I'm using a spirit level to make sure everything is straight so I've got the long one to go upwards but then I've got this smaller one to do the bottom my walls are definitely not straight because I can already see at the top that it's not straight but let's see This glue is so hard to do and now it's going everywhere. It's gone all over my table. Ah. What am I doing? I did not think that this would be the hardest part of it. I would be getting the glue out. Ah. Come on. 
some glue. Why is this so hard? I'm sure I'm doing something wrong here. Can't possibly be this hard. It is killing my wrist. And I've got so many to do. I thought this would be so easy. I don't know if it's the gun. I've got another gun. Let's try that gun. So, let's stick this. Oh, don't break it. So I've come into a bit of a snag here because this is where the wall is not straight. So there's like a big bump here which is causing problems. So I'm trying to get this nailed in as best I can but it's been difficult because it keeps popping off. But we keep going. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna put a few more pins in this I think because I feel like it's just gonna pop off the wall. Okay, so I've got all of the frame on now, except for the last piece. So it is the moment of truth, and my measuring is literally like bob on. Can you see the last measurement I did when I read it? So that should fit in absolutely perfect to this line here. I'm quite proud of myself. Got off to a rocky start with that no more nails. It took me ages, but now, I'm quite happy with that and then I just need to measure out the middle panel. So that is all, the framework is now on. That fit just absolutely snug as a bug in a rug. I had to cut away some of the corner because it wasn't going in. Um, even though the measurement was perfect there was a little bit of cork in the corner so I scraped that away and it went in bob on so now i have just measured i measured twice you know because make sure that it's right so um i'm doing two panels in the middle here so there'll be three sections and i've got that absolutely spot on so i'm now just going to add the panels for here and they'll be the same all the way along my thing Alexa, play.
once all of the wood was on the wall I had to fill in the two bits that you can see there because my wall was a bit curved so there was like a tiny millimeter of a gap so just to be sure put some wood filler on there and then I let it dry and sanded it down and now I am just caulking around all of the edges now caulking was awful <laughs> I'm not gonna even lie to you like I there's just certain things in life I don't like and I did not like caulking it's not something I would jump at to do and we have since cleared our garage out if you look on my shorts you can see we did that the other day and I have found like a caulking tool which would have been really handy had Kieran had a tidy garage and I could have found it on the day so I asked my mum and a few other people how I go about doing this and they said to get a wet cloth like a damp cloth and then run your finger along it so yeah I gave it a go and it all looks all right now that it's done um, it was looking really messy for a while it took me a good couple of days because I had to keep resting in between I couldn't do it all at once and as you can see it's taken me a while to do one square it did take me all in all a few weeks to do this project because I had to keep having rest days to rest my wrist. I mean, I don't know if you can see here, but I had had a treatment on my wrist um, and had to go in hospital the day before. So that was currently bandaged up, but I wasn't going to let it stop me. I have recently done a pain management course and it's all about pacing. So even though I am doing something that is probably classed of, as exhaustive work, I didn't do it all at once like if Kieran was doing this he would have probably corked it all and done it all in a day whereas this took me about four weeks because I had to keep stopping and resting and obviously I wasn't very good at it so I wasn't getting it done very quick but I say I wasn't good at it it's turning out quite well um so this is me corking I know I'm not perfect please don't hate me for my um technique let's just call it that we can only learn from it, but like I say, if I can do it, you can do it. The paint I'm using is Farrow and Ball, Manor House Grey Emulsion, and I got this from B&Q. Okay, so we are like a week into my panelling project. It has not taken me a week, but because I've been um, having to rest in between, also I work full time, so um, it's been done in stages, but that's okay. We can do things in stages. You don't need to do everything all at once. I mean, I like it to be done all at once, but sometimes that's not possible. So I decided to do this project myself, didn't I? Um, because I've been waiting on Kieran doing it for so long, and my friend said, why don't you just do it? And you know what? I've done a really good job. It is spot on with the measurements. Everything is perfect. I've filled in these gaps with wood filler and I've sanded it down, but I've had to take breaks every day because of my fibromyalgia. So I started doing this on a Monday and it actually only took me an hour to actually put the panels on the wall. And then the hardest part was probably the sanding down because I had to do some fillering in and then sanding the wall to make sure it was all smooth. But like in between every bit, I've had to take rests and breaks and make sure that I'm not overexerting myself, which is frustrating because I probably could have had this all done in a day. So as you can see, I have started painting. I bought a sample paint pot yesterday of Farrow and Ball. Now, I really love this colour. It's not coming out that well on the camera, but I really love this colour. I'm not the best painter, I'm not even going to lie. And what's really annoying me is that I've got a crack all the way down my wall here. Um, lady wanted to say hi, you can hear her bark in the background, but everything else is like spot on. I've sanded all of the walls down here because there was like paint build up and bits of all sorts, as you can see, and I've even wiped that down with a cloth. So yeah, everything has been sanded down perfectly smooth. Everything's just perfect. I've done such a splendid job with this, guys. So I'm going to carry on painting it. I went and bought... So I bought the, the sample of the Farrow and Ball for £5, which I thought was a bit much for a sample, but you know what, it'll get me quite far. And it did get me quite a bit. So I saw the smaller tubs, uh, the, the bigger tubs than the sample. So I thought £35 is okay for paint that is for my dining room and it's gonna, I'm going to be painting the woodwork that goes into my living room. I thought that's not too bad. Well, anyway, I went back today to have a look. And they didn't have the £35 ones. It's £52. So, £52 for a tin of paint, which I would never normally pay. But do you know what? I thought, sod it. I've already started now. 
and it is my living area so I don't mind spending a bit more money and I've got the bigger tin and it's obvious it's going to paint all this bit here and everywhere so all the woodwork all through into my living room as well so yeah I just hope that that lasts I'm going to crack on with painting now wish me luck I hate painting it is one of the worst jobs ever but I've done all the corking. That was a bit of a messy job, but I did a good job of it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna toot my own horn. I have nailed this paneling. And if I can do it, you can do it. It is super easy, like so much. I've been proper putting it off, but super easy. A lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. I, honestly, I thought it was gonna be really complicated and it is just not. So yeah, if I can do it, you can do it. So that is my wall complete. Now I've done two coats of paint. No, I didn't use the tiny paintbrush to do all of the wall. Um, if you saw my video on TikTok regarding my garage clear out, you will understand why I could not access any of the stuff. And I was on my own with the kids that night and I couldn't get to the shop. So I just used what I had to hand and then I got Kieran to get me some more stuff out at the weekend. But yes, here it is. The light's looking a bit funny because my light here is putting a shine on it so it makes it look like it's patchy but it's not it's i tell you i've done a pretty good job i'm very proud of myself and i don't normally hype myself up but i thought this was going to be so difficult i have been asking kieran to do this wall for forever what it seems and he's been saying it's going to cost a lot of money and it's gonna take a load of time like it literally took me an hour to put those boards up and if you add, if you add up the whole entire time in which it would it took me, which would probably be a lot quicker if you're healthier than me, it would have been about seven hours. So that includes like measuring it, going to B and Q to get the stuff, putting the stuff on, painting it and painting it again and corking it and what have you. So yeah, it didn't take that long. It probably, I mean, obviously you have to wait for the paint to dry, so you couldn't just do it in one day. But the time-wise, it wasn't that lengthy and um, it wasn't that difficult. Hi, lady. Um, it wasn't difficult at all. Like Once I figured out about the measurements, I got the guy in B&Q to cut it for me. And my measuring, like, look, I did not even need to seal this because the, the gaps were just filled in so perfectly. Like, it fit in just perfectly. So I'm quite proud of my measuring. Um, I'm going to do a Q&A video. Um, probably my next video will be a Q&A video with all your questions asked. I have had like an abundance of messages on TikTok. You guys have gone crazy for that video over on TikTok. I can't believe it. I've nearly had like half a million views on that. I am so blown away. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do like a Q&A with everything and the information. I know I've put quite a bit of it in this video. I can't even remember what I've told you. So I'm going to edit this all together and get it up for you. But I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I did with the wall and just how easy it is to do something. And, you know, just because you've never done something before, don't write yourself off because I have never done anything like this in my life and I'm rubbish at painting. And I personally love how it turned out. It might not be to your taste. You might not like it, but I love it. And it's my home. And that's all that matters really. But also I do have a disability that hinders me and I still gave it a go. I don't want people to think that just because you have something that gets in the way, it has to stop you doing things you want to do. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Really happy with how it turned out.